Okay. In Zen software, you're going to use locate tab to look at your sample through oculars to find places which you are then going to scan by using fancy stuff in the acquisition tab. And while you're looking at your sample through the oculars, it's really handy to have quick settings buttons. Basically, what you can do, you can pick any piece of hardware you're going to use to look at your sample and then save this configuration right here. And then right here, you can assign a button for your safe configuration. So for example, let's say you want to look at your sample in the bright fill channel. You need a lamp and you need to make sure that the shutter for the lamp is open and that you don't have any filter cubes in the light path. And you can save this configuration under the proud name of Brightfield. Okay. And you can assign a button for it. Button 1 will be configuration Brightfield. And here you go. Here's your button. If you want to have a little bit more contrast in your sample, then you want to use JC optics. And for this you need to put analyzer into the light path. And we have it right here. And you can save this configuration as... D I C. Okay. And here you can assign a button for it. Button 2 will be D I C. Assign. Et voilà. Two buttons. Now you can switch from D I C to Brightfield super quickly. And you can do the same for the fluorescent channel. So for fluorescent channels, you don't want any transmitted light in the light path. And you probably don't need any halogen lamp on altogether go off and what you want is to open the shutter for the mercury lamp right here and put a filter cube into the light path so for gfp channel you will need a green filter cube this one and we'll save this configuration as gfp and if you are looking at red floor 4 you will need this filter cube that will be rfp and if you're looking for toppy or hook staining, then probably, not probably, certainly, you're going to use this filter cube. That one will be toppy. And now you can assign buttons for all the safe configurations. Um, so let's say button 3 will be for GFP channel. Assign. Button 4 will be for the red channel assign and button 5 will be for the tapi channel assign et voila a lot of quick settings buttons now we are all set